I don't know about you, but these might be one of the best Holiday 11s to release in a long time. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth review of the Gratitude Air Jordan 11s. We're also going to be comparing them against the DMPs and the modern day retro of the Concord 11s. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So before we start breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of this beautiful shoe, we got to go over the history first. Back in 1995, Michael Jordan made his way back to the NBA, and a lot of people remember him bringing out the Air Jordan 11 in the black and white Concord colorway. During this time, he was also wearing the number 45, and we saw that on the back of his shoe, but the general release version came out with the 23 on it. And then many years later, in 2018, the Concord 11 had the 45 on the back, and people went crazy. But during this time when Jordan was wearing the Air Jordan 11s, he was also in pursuit of winning his fourth championship, which then became the beginning of his second three-peat. And back in 2006, Jordan Brand decided to release the Defining Moments pack, having the Air Jordan 6 and the Air Jordan 11 in it, and both inside of this pack, and some consider, I also consider, this to be the greatest pack ever. And no better way to do it than paying homage with his original championship models, and then adding a gold touch and flair to the packaging and the shoe. Back in 2006, when the DMP came out, Trust me when I tell you, it changed the game and it's never been the same. And I'm sure some of you guys remember in 2020, we saw the DMP Air Jordan 6s and a lot of people had expectations on the 11s and finally we got the shoe. But I'm sorry to tell you, these are not considered to be the DMP 11s that everybody thought. And I know to a lot of untrained sneaker wizards out there, they're gonna say this shoe looks exactly the same, but trust me, in this review, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Looking at the box, as you can see right here, we have another switch up yet again. We were used to the sleeve with the plastic top, then they switched it up with that and gave us different boxes with unique opening styles. So on this one right here, you got a matte black finish all throughout the side of the box, the lid and on the sides of that area, but then there's some white underneath that. Now in the center of the lid right here, you have a metallic gold jump man, and then also on the lid right here, you have the classic Air Jordan 11 23 branding on the side right here, and then on the front end of the box, you have the gold loop and then you have your size tag reading Air Jordan 11 Retro, white metallic gold, black. And as you tilt the lid open right here, looking on the side, you can see you have another white section all on the bottom half of the box, but there's an additional gold jump man right here just behind the 23 branding as well. Now lifting open the lid all the way, as you can see on the top of the lid right here, it also says thank you in the classic Jordan font that you see on the center of the tongue when it comes to the 11s. And then looking at the paper right here, it's semi-translucent, but it has a white text all throughout it. And this also says thank you in multiple languages as well. Now peeling back the paper, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So first impressions of this sneaker, I have a lot of different mixed feelings when it comes to this, just because it's not the same as the original DMP. It has a lot of similarities to different models like the 7210s, the Concords, a couple of different sneakers as well, which we'll get into the comparisons a little bit later. But either way, I still like these. Now starting with the outsole of the shoe, you have your classic Air Jordan 11 bottom, translucent areas around the side end, and that's actually gonna be in more of a creamy, milky color compared to that ice blue that we have been seeing over the past few years. And then you have black hair and bone traction pods in the back and the front end of the shoe. Your white Jumpman branding right here in the middle of the foot. And then you have your gold and black carbon fiber, also similar to the DMPs, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Now going up to the midsole, you got your all white Phylon midsole, classic to the Air Jordan 11, another piece that I always have loved, and then on to the upper. Ooh, baby. When it comes to the materials, these things are definitely solid. You got your all black high cut patent leather wrapping throughout the middle of the foot and around the toe. You have a mixture of two different leathers with a tumbled and a smooth leather on the back end around the heel. And then you got your metallic gold jump man with your 23 branding. Now on here, sometimes it's a plastic piece, sometimes it's stitched, sometimes it's printed. I like how they added the plastic piece to give it a little bit more of a premium vibe. Now these come standard with a pair of thick rope laces is all white matching with the upper and then you have your tumbled leather tongue right here filling the materials honestly it feels really really good and then on the center of the tongue like we talked about on the box lid you have the same thing right here with the jordan branding white text with the gold jump man and then the black patch now on the back of the tongue you got a different switch up right here typically it says for example on the concord 11s if you look at the back of the tongue right here it says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever and then you don't have like anything on the side right here okay now if you look at this tongue you can see there's more on the side branding as well and it says thank you on both sides of the patch and then also it says quality basketball product created in gratitude 
by the greatest player ever. Little details like that are definitely something that shows the design team cares a little bit more and they took that extra step to make that element on the shoe and also something that sneakerheads always love and it shows differences between previous retros and new current models as well. Now looking at the sock liner, that's gonna be all black and on that you're gonna have a gold 23 branding on the heel and that's gonna be on both of the feet. Now y'all know there's no way I was gonna be able to make this video without bringing out the DMP pack. You know I got a couple of these in my collection and I'm excited to give you guys a full in-depth comparison pack because you know I got the modern day sixes too so we'll, we'll make that video in the future don't worry but let me just finish this review first so opening up this pack right here let me get this out just so you guys can see a quick unboxing but looking at the DMP 11s this is something I wanted to compare for you guys so you guys can see as well because there are definitely some differences between these two shoes okay so looking at these DMP 11s now this is the defining moments package and I wanted to give you guys a quick comparison again I'll make a full in-depth thing later but to let you guys know there are some differences as well I know it looks very very similar but the biggest difference that I see when it comes to these two shoes this one has the mesh all throughout the upper similar to the Concord 11 like the OG because this pays homage to the original Air Jordan 11 that came out back in the day when he started to win his second set of a three-piece series which then became another iconic moment in his career now looking at these outsoles you can definitely see a difference on these as well you have more of a milky outsole and obviously this one's showing signs of age a little bit but but this is all translucent on the outsole and then when it comes to the carbon fiber you have the same thing right here gold and black carbon fiber there and then you have the white jump man in the center of that white on the midsoles black patent leather and then obviously the cuts on these two shoes is way different and then even the jump man you can see it's similar but a little bit different this one's a lot more metallic and shiny this one's a little bit duller when it comes to the gold and then obviously you got the dog tag that goes along with it so you can see yes there are definitely a lot of similarities between these two shoes and then the overall cuts and all that when it comes to this shoe is going to be different as well and then like i said before looking at the back of the tongue what does it say quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever and then again this one has the gratitude thing with it but again we'll get into the comparisons later i just wanted to show you guys out real quick actually speaking of that we got to go over the poll because I was interested to see which one did people like more? Did they like the old DMPs or did they like the new quote unquote gratitude? Some people call them DMPs. I had to find out myself. So you know I posted a poll on my Instagram story. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. 60% of the people chose the gratitudes and 40% of the people chose the DMP 11s. Now I completely understand. Those came out in 2006. Not that many people in current time, you know, scale wise, were collecting back then. So I get it. They don't have the memories, the moments and all the different things. And they're finally happy to be able to get this shoe after the other shoe has been idolized for so many different years. I get that aspect. For me, you know, I'm rocking with the DMPs. But what I can say is the shape and the materials and how they went about this one. These things are nice, bruh. This is like a real close second place. <laughs> Hey, just wanted to let you guys know, I'm giving away a pair of Black Cat Air Jordan 4s. Every item that's purchased on the website from Black Friday to Christmas, you will have a raffle entry into the raffle, and I'll be announcing the winner on Christmas. Hit the link down below in the description and purchase anything from the site, any merch or any sneakers. There's a ton of stuff discounted as well. Good luck on the raffle, and I can't wait to give this pair to somebody for Christmas. So that kind of got me wondering, and I was also interested to see how well did they do on the DMP, or should I, I keep saying DMP, the Gratitude 11s compared to the Concord 11s because the cuts and everything is very similar. You have the high cut patent leather, you got the outsole, everything is clean. Obviously this one's more translucent, but I, again, I love the gold hits, but you can never go wrong with the Concord purple on the bottom either. So, you know, you got a lot of things you're competing against with here. Now, like I said before, looking at the back end of the shoe, you got your 45 right here stamped on the back. Back in this is an issue this could potentially rub off but at the same time with this plastic like material as well this is something that could potentially fall off as well I think this is gonna be more durable and last longer and gives a lot more premium vibe now again differences here you got the jump man more of a plasticky feel here but it's more you know metallic popping out and then you got your embroider jump man that's not gonna be going anywhere anytime soon these two shoes definitely do look very similar when it comes to the overall color blocking and if you're not a sneaker wizard I get it you're gonna be like oh they look the same but you know all of us wizards out here we know there's a lot of differences. And the biggest one, again, like I said earlier, that stands out is gonna be that mesh on the upper. Just like the DMP 11s, the Concords came this way as well. And on these, you have that leather, which like I said at the beginning of the video, 
a lot more similar to, I would say, maybe the 72 tan 11s. You remember how they did the leather on there and he had like the tumbled leather. With, I feel like that kind of does give you that similar vibe. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Obviously the shape was a little bit different as well, but it definitely did make me think of those when I saw how they put the materials together on this shoe. Now here comes the great debate. Which shoe do people like more? I am so interested by this one because the Concord 11s, I was like, oh, those came out a few years ago. And then I thought about it, like that was like 2018. And that was like five years ago. And most not, I'm again, not taking shots at nobody, but there's a lot of people that started collecting shoes during COVID. And what does that mean? They've been collecting for three years, two years, maybe four years. They missed the hype on the Concord 11s. So what's that mean? They're gonna go crazy for these. And I think it makes sense. The color blocking is similar, all those different things. This might be their Concord of their era, their DMP of their era. I get that. Or some people might just not care about it at all and they say the Concord's way better. I don't know. I could understand both sides of the realm, but either way, I was interested, so I had to post a poll. This is what the people said. 70% of the people chose the Concords and 30% of the people chose the DMPs. Now this is crazy, but it's not crazy at the same time because I remember when the DMP pack came out and I had the Concords and I had the DMPs, but I'm like, the gold touches just made the shoe so much better to me. That gold card carbon fiber, the gold stitching, the gold jumping, the different things like that. Like I was loving it. And I'm like, man, these might be better. This might be my favorite Jordan 11 of all time. So for me, I could see the great debate why it's like a 50 50, but to see 70 30, that kind of blew my mind. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, but like both of these shoes are nice. Like you can't be mad at either one of these. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I like both of them. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to these two on the comparison as well, because this, this is honestly a really good debate. So these are set to come out in a couple weeks and the resale prices aren't too crazy. And I got a feeling just because of the way the market is, you guys remember when the Gamma 11s came out? They were like kind of hitting, but not really. And then you had all the different 11s that came out and they weren't really hitting and you had that lull in the market and the, everybody, you know, everything's down. The economy is down, I get it. This is a great time to double up on a shoe, especially that looks like a Concord. This is a great time to get one, Definitely two pairs of these shoes. That's just how I feel. Again, if you can't afford it, I understand. Well, I got a bunch of videos that'll teach you how to hustle and get more sneakers in your collection. But for me, I'm definitely gonna, I'm probably gonna have four or five pairs of these in my collection. Immediately rocking a pair, immediately gonna have another pair that I'm probably gonna be rocking next year too. And a couple sitting on ice because like y'all know in my DMP pack, I got a few of those. I love the DMP pack. So not just because of cloud or hype or whatever, I have a lot of memories when it comes to DMPs and to be able to wear this shoe and have a wearable version, I am looking forward to it because I used to beat my DMPs to the ground and I'm, I just cannot wait to, for the moment to do this again. I'm so excited. So for me, uh, prices are great. I'm loving it. I think it's cool that they're going just over retail for the holiday Jordan 11, all the hype, da, 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 all those things. I think it's a great time to be able to cop the kicks that you want and be able to get them at an affordable price if you don't get them for retail. But I feel like a lot of people should get lucky. If you put a little bit of effort in, it shouldn't be too complicated to be able to get one or two pairs for your collection. So like I said, I got the DMP sixes right here. There's a lot of differences. I've done a comparison before with the DMP sixes. But this is the DMP pack put together right here with the retro versions, a few years separated. I'm looking forward to comparing this and the packaging and all the different stuff that go along with these and the shapes of the shoes and the colors of the shoes and the switch ups of the shoes compared to the DMP pack, which is over here. So stay tuned for that. I have a full breakdown video coming for you guys very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped you decide whether you want to grab this shoe for your collection or not. Giving you guys an in-depth look and shout out to the homies over at Hearth helping me secure this pair. It's a beautiful pair of shoes and they just got a new store opened up at Clackamas Mall as well. So if you guys are in the Portland area, make sure you guys go check them out at the Washington Square Mall or at the Clackamas Mall. And again, if you haven't already, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all in another one. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my Sneakerhead Academy. It's an eight-week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the ins and outs of the shoe game, learning the market, and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time, or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to do that as well. And if you want to invest in the real estate, I have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there. So 
So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the link down below, get signed up. I would love to see you on the inside. It's the holidays right now, so we got a special going as well. All right, you guys, I'm out. That's in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One one I would one. never let you down. That's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in